uh, would you label the cartels terrorist organizations? And uh, would you say that the federal government has broken their oath to the Constitution? Is this treason? Maybe a third question, what should the people do? What can, how can the people help in, in this fight or what's next for this fight? Well, uh, with respect to cartels and whether or not they are terrorist organizations, I, as you know, and as these uh, folks know, I introduced legislation to designate them as foreign terrorist organizations. I think we should. I think we should treat them uh, as such. And if some people get hung up on that definition, fine. Call them squirrels. I don't care. But give the tools necessary to law enforcement to go after them. I think it ought to be foreign terrorist designation. Um, knock their knees out from under them. Stop their funding. Stop the dollars from flowing to them. Approach them as the enemy they are. They are undermining Mexico, allowing it to become a narco terror state, then funneling fentanyl into our communities while Americans die? What, do you, what more do you need to know than that, right? So we should designate them as such and knock their knees out. Uh, I think the people of Texas ought to continue to follow this model. I think the people of Texas ought to stand up and say, enough, we're not going to allow this anymore. We're not going to allow this flow. We're not going to allow the cartels to have power. We're not going to allow these drugs to come into our communities. We could stop it. You just have to choose to. The Biden administration, to your answer your second question, has specifically chosen not to. It's purposeful. Don't kid yourselves. All the media out here. It is purposeful. There is no other answer for it. They are exploiting our laws and allowing them to be abused to the detriment of our country and allowing the collateral damage to be the people of Texas, the counties in Texas, while they just ignore it. You notice that when there's a tragedy, they have no problem going in front of the cameras to find South Texas, but they sure as hell aren't coming down to South Texas to deal with the daily disaster that we're dealing with every single day down here. What are they doing now? Build, building a massive, almost four acre tent facility to process more people, to send a signal to the world, come here. And then I'm down there with Border Patrol today on the river in the almost 100 degree heat and a Border Patrol agent's walking up the road carrying a child, a baby, because the mother was out of gas and they're trying to get her water. How in the hell is that humane? How do you pat yourself on the back and call that compassion, which is what our Democratic colleagues in Washington are doing? So yeah, they're abandoning their oath to the Constitution and Texas needs to stand in the breach.